Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. It's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check. Hello everyone, I am Jules Giang and this is K-Check. Isang mabigat na workout ang inihanda natin para sa magustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. And in the final week of competition, malalaman natin kung sino ang tatanghaling K-Check Champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Majoy is a nursing student of Our Lady of Fatima University in Quezon City. Her hobbies are watching K-drama, reading Twitter series, and standing dumbbell. Next, we have Jazz. Jazz is a third-year civil engineering student at TUP Manila. He finds joy in writing poetry and indulging in the charm of rom-coms and sitcoms. A harmonious blend of engineering precision and creative expression defines his journey. Sunod naman, Kagan is an economic student from UP Diliman. He likes writing short stories, listening to rap songs, and watching movies. As a born and raised Baguio boy used to cool, cool weather, he also battles the heat on a daily basis. And finally, Stell is a third-year BS Geodetic Engineering student who is in fond of math or great at giving direction. Another fun fact about her, she doesn't eat cheese, ketchup, spaghetti, or hot dogs. So these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. Next, we have Professor Glessy Atienza of the College of Arts and Letters from UP Diliman. And finally, we have Professor Ben Vallejo of the UP Institute of Environmental Science and Meteorology. At ngayon, contestants, it's time for round one. Remember to wait for me to acknowledge you before answering this question. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. Let's begin. Question number one. In the NCAA, what is the nickname of the team from Emilio Aguinaldo College, which is also what Aguinaldo and his fellow officers were? Pagan. Chiefs. Chiefs is Malay. Anyone can steal. The correct answer is Generals. Question number two. What city in France is the host of the 2024 Summer Olympic Games? Jazz. Paris. Paris is correct. Okay, check. Question number three. What do you call the condition characterized by the excessive accumulation and storage of fat in the body? and having a body mass index of more than 30? Tell. Obesity. Obesity is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. In mental math, what number is 20% of 50? Okay, gan. 10. 10 is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. AI is a computer system able to perform tasks that normally require humans. What does AI stand for? Kagan. Artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is correct. Hey, check. Question number six. Hollywood A-listers Robin Williams and Will Smith both played what role in Aladdin movies? Kagan. The genie. The genie is correct. Hey, check. Question number seven. In the movies Crazy Beautiful You, Barcelona A Love Untold, and Can't Help Falling in Love, which actress starred opposite Daniel Padilla? Stel. Catherine Bernardo. Catherine Bernardo is correct. Okay, check. Masaktan ka rin ba? Question number eight. What Southeast Asian country has Bangkok as its national capital? Jazz. Thailand. Thailand is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. In 2023, the city of Angeles received the seal of good governance from the DILG. 
In what province can you find Angeles City? Stel. Pampanga. Pampanga is correct. Hey, check. Question number 10. What is the name of the blue hedgehog that became Sega's flagship franchise? Jazz. Sonic. Let me proceed with the question. Flagship franchise and one of the best-selling video games ever. The correct answer is Sonic. K check. Question number 11. Which branch of the AFP had a team nicknamed Lady Troopers in the Premier Volleyball League and was the first champion in the Philippine Super Liga? Jazz? Philippine Navy. Philippine Navy is Malay. Anyone can steal? Okay, the correct answer is Philippine Army. Last question for this round. Number 12. What continent is the largest in land area as well as in population? Kagan. Asia. Asia is correct. Paycheck. And that ends round number one. Let's do a quick recap of their scores. Kagan is leading with 40 points. Jazz and Stell tied at 30 points. And Majoy, pwede ka pang humabol sa mga susunod nating rounds. So bago tayo magpatuloy, kilalanin muna natin ang ating mga contestants. Sunahin natin si Majoy na nag-aaral sa Our Lady of Fatima. So Majoy hopes to learn how to save lives. So ano or sino na ang mga naging inspirasyon mo para mag-pursue ng nursing career, Majoy? Um, actually, nag-start po siya sa panonood ng K-drama na focus on medical um, medical on medical mission. Uh -huh. So talagang kaya pala maka-inspire no? para sa career natin mismo itong mga k-dramas. Maraming salamat, Majoy, for sharing that. Dumako naman tayo kay Jazz. So si Jazz, you share na mayroon kang harmonious blend of engineering precision and creative expression. Ang lalim nito. So how does this manifest sa poetry? Hindi ko kasi talaga gusto or somehow parang na ano, um, parents' choice yung course ko ngayon. Pero mm -hmm. gusto ko yung ano talaga parang literature courses. Tapos, parang ina-incorporate ko lahat ng parang ng struggle sa atang natututunan ko sa engineering yeah. ngayon, especially sa mga, sa mga lessons. Tapos, ina-incorporate ko sa paggagawa ko ng mga tulang. Ang galing. So, nakahanap pa ng workaround para mabalansi yung gusto mo, pati yung gusto ng parents mo. So, thank you for sharing that, Jazz, and thank you, Majoy, also for sharing. Itutuloy natin mama yung kwentuhan kasi papasok na tayo sa round 2. Susunod na yan sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! And welcome back to K-Check. Recap muna tayo ng points ng ating contestants. Leading si Kagan with 40 points. Tied naman sa second with 30 points. Si Stel at si Jazz. And si Majoy, kaya pang humabol sa ating next two rounds. So, kwentuhan tayo ulit. Si Kagan naman. So, sasabihin ko lang sa'yo na huwag mo na sarilinin ang away mo versus the heat. Dahil para sa amin dito, the struggle is real. So, how do you feel yung init dito sa Manila? Siyempre, born and raised ako, Baguio. So, yung... Halos yung cooler temperatures here parang average na sa Baguio. So, dun po back sa dorm here in UP, it's usually just trying to, wala nakatapat ng lagi sa electric fan. Pero naka-adjust naman na after about four months into schooling here. Pero in-campus ka nakatira? In-campus naman. So, kahit pa paano maraming puno? Apa, so, medyo malamig-lamig pa po. Okay yan. Medyo kahit pa paano, lalo na paggabi. Okay, ito naman si Stel. Si Stel, kung hindi ka fond of math, at hindi ka magaling sa directions, bakit geodetic engineering ang kinuha mo? Ano po kasi, ayun po talaga yung napasa ko sa UPCAT. Pero okay. along the way, natutunan, matututunan mo pong mahalin yung course mo kapag uh, magagaling yung props and mm -hmm. sobrang enjoyable po ng mga activities. Especially po nung fieldwork po na, mga okay. fieldwork po na. Anong year ka na ba ngayon? Third year na po. Ah, nakailang sems ka na. So mahal mo na nga. Let's take it. <laughs> okay. Pero bukod dyan, May very interesting fact din sa'yo. Ayaw mo sa cheese, sa ketchup, at sa hot dogs. Bakit? Yung buong existence niya po, parang hindi ko po talaga siya kayang kainin. Oh. And amoy, Any reason why? Hindi ko po alam eh. As early po na natatandaan ko, hindi ko na talaga siya kinakain. Okay. Kayo ba mahilig kayo sa cheese, sa hot dogs, spaghetti? 
ayaw nyo rin sa ketchup. Kung mapapak si Jans ng ketchup, <laughs> I guess hindi kayo pwede maging friends. Ibibigay ko na lang po sa Ibibigay kanya mo na lang. Ketchup. Si Madjoy ayaw ng cheese. Ketchup. ketchup. Ayaw ng ketchup. Ikaw okay kay Gandai. Ayaw rin po ng ketchup. Okay. <laughs> So, marami na tayong nabubong mga teams dito sa K-Check bukod sa flag football. Meron din sa board games. Ngayon naman mga anti-ketchup. Okay. Sige, maraming salamat uh, for sharing those. And now, it's time for round two. So, concentrate, strategize, and go for those points. Correct answers are 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's begin. Question number one. AIDS occurs when the body's immune system is badly damaged because of a virus. What does the D in AIDS stand for? Jazz. Deficiency. Deficiency is correct. Okay, check. So AIDS is the acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. Para sa kaalaman ng lahat. Question number two. In what continent can you find the country's Zambia and Zimbabwe. Jazz. Africa. Africa is correct. Okay, check. Question number three. In astronomy, what four-letter term refers to a variable star that suddenly increases in brightness to several times its normal magnitude but returns to its original appearance? The correct answer is Nova. Question number four. Pagsan Han Falls is a three-tiered waterfall located in the town of Cavinti. Hence its other name, Cavinti Falls. In what province can you find Pagsan Han Falls? Jazz. Laguna. Laguna is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. One-eyed Mike and his buddy Sully are the main characters who scare children in which 2001 Disney Pixar film? Kagan. Monsters, Inc. Monsters, Inc. is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. Considered the founder of modern nursing, which English nurse came to prominence while nursing patients in the Crimean War in the 19th century? The correct answer is Florence Nightingale. Question number seven. What super electromagnetic machine is piloted by Steve, Big Bird, and Little John Armstrong together with Jamie Robinson and Mark Gordon? Voltes Let's vault in. Okay, question number eight. The male of this animal is called a stallion, and its female, a mare. What is this animal? Cell. Horse? Horse is correct. Paycheck. Question number nine. In what film, whose title means one that returns after death or a long absence, did Leonardo DiCaprio win an Academy Award for Best Actor? The correct answer is The Revenant. Question number 10. Which Italian chemist came up with a scientific law that states that equal volumes of gases under the same conditions of temperature and pressure will contain equal numbers of molecules. The correct answer is Avogadro or Amadeo Avogadro. Question number 11. Simplon and the Gothard are famous tunnels that were built to serve as motorways in the Alps. In what continent can you find the Alps mountain range? The correct answer is Europe. Final question for this round. Number 12. Last December 3, 2023, 
a bomb exploded in the Marawi campus of the MSU. What does MSU stand for? Tigan. Mindanao State University. Mindanao State University is correct. Hey, check. And that ends round number two. Recap po muna tayo ng points ng ating contestants. Jazz is leading with 90 points, followed by Kagan with 80 points, Stel with 50 points, and Majoy, kayo mo pang humabol sa ating next round. Our ultimate pagalingan round is next, here on K-Check! Welcome back everyone. Recap puna tayo ng points ng ating contestants. Leading si Jazz with 90 points, followed by Kagan with 80 points, si Stel with 50 points, and si Majoy kaya pang humabol sa ating final round. So the race to finish on top continues with our ultimate pagalingan round. Remember sa ating panel of experts manggagaling ang mga katanungan. The end of this round will reveal our daily winner. Here, correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Good luck. Let's begin. First question from Sir Neil. Which indigenous group in Samwanga Peninsula was under the jurisdiction of the Sulu Sultanate? A. Iranon B. Manobo C. Sangil B. Subanen E. Talaandi Sobrang nahirapan ang ating mga contestant sa tanong na yun. Okay, so ang pangkat etniko na ito ay ang pinakamalaking grupong indigenous people sa bansa. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, Subanen. Rock Blessing, next question please. She was one of the greatest Filipino vocal talents and was the first Filipino international star for the opera. She was a native of Capiz and garnered numerous awards and citations and was recognized as a national artist in music in 1976. Sino siya? A. Jovit Moya B. Jovita Fuentes C. Jovita Sarate, D. Jovi Peregrino, and E. Jovi Mateo. Stel. D. Jovi Peregrino. The answer is wrong. Anyone can steal? Itong artista na sinasabi natin, ang nagpauso ng opera at sinuportahan niya yan ng matagal na panahon gamit ang sarili niyang lakas at resources. Ang sagot ay letter B, Jovita Fuentes. Thank you. Prof. Ben, next question please. Hey, this is a very short question. What is the study of fish called? A. Fishology B. Teleostology C. Ichthyology D. Fisheries and E. Entomology Okay guys, C. Ichthyology Ichthyology comes from the Greek word ichthys which means fish Okay, okay check Thank you Prof. Neil, next question please Asian history Anong dynastia sa China kung kailan lumitaw ang Taoismo at Confucianismo? A. Han B. Ming, C. Sung, D. Tang, E. Jo. Mahirap pa rin. Hindi, parang kinakabahan lang ating mga contestants. <laughs> Kaya nyo yan. Kailangan ninyong bumalik sa high school. No? High school history. Okay, so bukod sa Taoismo at Confucianismo, ang konsepto ng Mandate of Heaven ay lumitaw rin sa dinastiyang ito. Ang tamang sagot ay E. Joe. Thank you. Prof. Lessie, next question. Usapang kalye. What is the term for the street play panunuluyan 
a popular Christmas play held in Kawit and Imus Cavite. A. My Tinis. B. My Paho. C. My Tama. D. My Dating. And E. My Tao. Ang tamang sagot ay A, may tinis, posisyon ng panunuluyan. Salamat. Thank you, Prof. Lessie. Prof. Ben, next question, please. So, the question is, what does DNA stand for? A, the oxygenated nucleic acid. B, the oxyribonucleic acid. C, the natured nucleic acid. D, the ribonucleic acid. And E, derived nucleic acid. Jazz. B, deoxyribonucleic acid. The answer is B, deoxyribonucleic acid. That is a short, shorthand for DNA. Paycheck. Thank you so much. Nagahabulan ngayon si Nakigan at Jazz. Tingnan natin. Majoy and Stel, habol pa rin tayo. Prof. Neil, next question. Yeah. Usapang tubig, baka kayang-kaya ito ng mga contestants natin. Most tsunamis happen in this body of water. A, Caribbean Sea, B, Indian Ocean, C, Mediterranean Sea, D, Pacific Ocean, E, Atlantic Ocean. Magdadasal na ako. <laughs> sa tanungan mo kukuha ng isa sa mga contestants. Pwede naman maging mapangahas, pero hindi ko alam kung calculated risk ang gusto niyo gawin. Ang katawang tubig na ito ay ang pinakamalaki at pinakamalalim na karagatan sa buong mundo. Ang Philippine Sea ay bahagi ng karagatan ito at sobrang lapit natin dito. Ang tamang sagot ay letter D, Pacific Ocean. Thank you, Prof. Neil. Prof. Lessie, next question. Okay, usapang UP. This group is the official performing group for Theater of the UP. It boasts of a lineup of well-known actors who belong to the studentry and faculty of the Department of Speech, Communication, and Theater Arts. What is the name of this theater group? A. Dula ang UP B. Dula Dulaan C. Dula ang Cal D. Dula ang Bayan and E. UP Theater. Stel. A, dula ang UP. Tama. Ang sagot ay dula ang UP. Okay, check. Thank you, Prof. Let's see. Prof. Ben, your question, please. Okay, now we go to space again. Okay. So, what is the name of the Soviet Union space probe mission that landed successfully on Venus? So, A, Venus. B, Pioneer, C. Si Vega, D. Venera, and E. Voyager. Nobody risked an answer, okay? Uh, the correct answer is D, which is Venera, which is the Russian word for Venus. Thank you so much. Now we're off to our final set of questions for this round. May leading si Jazz ngayon with 120, Kagan with 110, Stel with 65. Majoy, kaya pa natin to. Last set of questions. Sir Neil, go ahead. Huling tanong mula sa akin, which of the following is an ethnic group in Cagayan Valley? Si dating Vice, Vice Presidente Jojo Binay ay bahagi ng ethnic group na ito. Sa eleksyon, na tumakbo siyang presidente, dito lang siya nanalo sa Cagayan Valley. So, ang mga pagpipilian, pagpipilian ay A. Ibanag, B. Ibaloy, C. Kankanae, D. Tingyan, E. Itneg. Ang malaking konsentrasyon ng pangkat etniko na ito sa Cagayan at Isabela. Okay, ang tamang sagot ay letter A, iba na. Last question from Prof. Glessy. Okay, pasyal naman tayo. What is the local Tagalog term for rich? The rich. term is also the name of a famous vacation spot in the mountains of Cavite. Letter A, Tagaytay. Letter B, Carmona. 
Letter C, Santa Rosa. Letter D, Batanes. And letter E, Maragondon. Tell. B, Carmona. Wrong answer. Anyone can steal. Ang tamang sagot ay A, Tagaytay. Yun ang tawag sa Ridge. Thank you so much, Prof. Glessy. Last question for the round. Prof. Ben, go ahead. Okay. Um, this has something to do with our, ano, with our bodies, no? And the bodies of other, of our related animals. Okay. So, how many cervical vertebrae does a giraffe possess? A. Nine. B. Seven. C. Six. D, 10, and E, 12. Kagan. E, 12. Ah, uh, that's wrong. <laughs> Anyone can steal? Jazz. A, 9. Ah, uh, that's also wrong. <laughs> Majoy. D, 7. Okay, uh, all uh, mammals have the same number of vertebrae, uh, despite the length of their necks, <laughs> which is seven. So we are ending the round. Na lahat may scores. Palakpakan yung sarili niyo. Okay, so that's it for K Check Ultimate Pagalingan. At ang ating winner, congratulations to Jazz with 105 points. Congratulations, Jazz. Okay. So, makakasama natin si Jazz again on Friday when he competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-final. Siyempre, maraming salamat din kay Majoy, kay Kagan, at kay Stel for joining. And of course, our panel of experts, Professor Neil, Professor Glessy, and Professor Benjamin. Muli ako po si Jules Giang. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check. <laughs>